we can you know start a Gerard. Can you can you? Is Wing here? Uh, Wing just arrived. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. good. Okay. Um, let's bow down and pray. Yes. Um, dear Heavenly Father, thanks for um helping us to take good care of us and for the last whole week, so yes. that we can come back and um, without getting any sick. Yes. Um, pray for the drought situation in California. Also pray for pray for the virus situation. Hope that it's going to improve and mm -hmm. pray for the vaccine. Hope that it's uh, going to be available soon and we can all, everybody can get it soon. Mm -hmm. And also pray for the our church and bless every one of us and and the Lord and try to be with us and so that we can listen to your words and remember your words more and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, you know, that's good. You know, we're going to have a good study. You know, the Lord is with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I I um, call these uh, double portions, double portions. So Why? we see how it work. Double portions. Yes, so somewhere in the Bible, there's double portions. Oh, now, well, you know, um, yeah, we kind of talk about. Uh, well, let's take a look at the Google News. You know, see see if there's anything new uh, in the rest of the world. Okay, this is the Google News. Um, uh, Israel. Yeah, we got a two hundred thousand every day, huh? Every day, huh? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, but you know, um, yeah, that happened in the world. But uh, well, we look to the law, you know. So, um, yeah, yeah. Well, that's you know, uh, lockdown. Yeah, they still have lockdown in uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, at least, uh, and uh, of course, uh, they report uh, you know the, the bad news also in their news. And uh, how about UK? Let's take a look at UK. Wow, California is uh, 13,000 a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, UK, uh, well, yeah, well, pretty much, um, you know, whatever happened in uh, US, you know, they happen in UK too, so, <laughs> yeah. And uh, what about uh, German, German, Germany? <laughs> yeah, Deutschland. Yeah, Deutschland. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think they are they are any different. You know, they are really under the gun too. You know. uh, the oh. first round they they handled pretty well, but uh, this time is different. This this time, you know, I think I think their local news. Um, I like Berlin. Lockdown until Christmas. Wow, okay, okay. Berlin, <laughs> huh? Berlin, this is huh? Berlin. Uh, Germany. Yeah, Germany. This is Berlin, mm. uh, Morgan Post. <laughs> okay. mm. Lockdown until just before Christmas. You know? Wow. And that's, that's not a sure thing. <laughs> Well, you know, we, we all have to look through the law, you know, it's, this is uh, that kind of days, you know. But thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's get back to, you know, this is the real stuff, you know. And uh, of course, uh, in the previous time, you know, we have uh, jumped all over the uh, Old Testament uh, scripture, you know, talk about, you know, all these things that's, um, uh, recorded, you know, like 3,500 years ago uh, when Moses, you know, was leading the uh, startup nations uh, from uh, slavery into freedom. 
but you know uh, they they have their trying times you know, and it was not it was not that good either but uh, so and uh, you know this this is uh, one of the uh, 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 words of the scripture uh, that uh, we read uh, 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 last week, and I don't know if uh, we read that uh, two weeks ago, mm. but uh, uh, this is um, something about the numbers, uh, chapter 8, verse 19. Uh, let's see, uh, Yan Hong, you, uh, you, you, you just arrived. Can you read this for us? Sure. Uh, numbers, uh, chapter 8, verse 19. And I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and to his sons from among the children of Israel to do the service of the children of Israel in the tabernacles of the congregation, and to make an atonement for the children of Israel, that there be no plague among the children of Israel when the children of Israel come nigh unto the sanctuary. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is, uh, you know, kind of, you know, stick to my mind, you know, what's going on in this world right now. Because uh, obviously, um, we we look at the world, we look at the even the Christian dogs uh, in in this world. You know, there seems like they uh, apparently seems to have a, a lot, a lot. Um, you know, him him a lot. Um, you know, under this uh, uh, pandemic, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, well, we we're, we're going to talk some more about that, of course, uh, but. Talking some good news. <laughs> this is uh, the uh, the uh, book of Hebrews in the New Testament. Book of Hebrews, uh, chapter twelve. And uh, in the in the book of Hebrews, chapter twelve, you know there was uh, talk about two mountains. The first one was Mount Sinai, where the Ten Commandments came from. Uh, that was not very good. And then we're not supposed to stay there. We're not supposed to stay there. And then this one is uh, in uh, from verse 22 to 25. And uh, can uh, Wayne read for us? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. All right. Can you make it bigger or I can read with my okay. own Bible? Uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me see if I can do that. Is it better? Okay. Hebrew 12, 22. When you are come unto Mount Sin Sinai, 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 and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and God, the judges of all, and to the spirit of just man made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, and springeth a better thing than that of Abel. And see ye refuse not him that springeth, for if they escape not who refuse him that spoke in earth, much more shall we escape if we turn away from him that springeth from heaven. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Church of the firstborn. Well, you know, of course, um, you know, since uh, we're reading together uh, on Friday, you know, <laughs> when uh, all kind of crazy things going on out there, you know, but uh, uh, this this is addressed to us and it's addressed as ye are come unto Mount Zion or Sion <laughs> and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn. Now, <laughs> so um, so this is this is it. You know, this is um, you know the description 
about you know the heavenly body the the all those people they are in christ and you are come unto mount sion mount sion and and that is the heavenly jerusalem not not the earthly jerusalem you know um there was a question uh, by you know the, a, a brother you know about well, well you know what what's the difference between earth earthly jerusalem and heavenly uh, anyone want to contribute <laughs> First of all, you know, uh, in the word Jerusalem, in the original Hebrew, uh, it is a plural. You know, in other words, Jerusalem is uh, there. There are more than one, <laughs> and there's one called heavenly Jerusalem, and then of course uh, we you look at the earthly Jerusalem. Now, the earthly Jerusalem, you know. It's not uh, very much uh, different from uh, the other cities in the world right now. You know, I mean, they have a lot of relics and uh, things, you know, that, um, um, you know, we can talk about, you know, uh, all those uh, historic uh, paths. But talking about the heavenly Jerusalem, you know, this is the real thing, the heavenly Jerusalem. On uh, you know the street is paved with gold. You know actually not paved. You know made by made of gold. <laughs> and and this is the real thing. You know so you know uh, people you know have uh, so much attachment to the earth, Jerusalem. And then you know when they went there, you know there are a lot of things that you know. Well, they they are pandemic over there too. But in the heavenly Jerusalem, you know the place. Um, you know, up there in heaven, uh, that is uh, where where our you know eternal home will be. And and but this is present tense. You are come unto Mount Sion and unto the city of the living God. This is the heavenly Jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels. So this is actually a a reality uh, specified by God's word for us, you know. So you know that this is this is not just um, oh well, you know, um, in the sweet by and by, you know, then um, in in the future, you know, in the eternity, you know, we will be there. Yes, of course, um, we believe that too. But not only that, you know, if you think about uh, deeper on this and you will realize actually it's, it's with you, it's in you and you are in it. You are in Christ. You are in Christ and Christ is in you. And your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So anyway, so what, you know, uh, we're going to spend a little time on the uh, term church of the firstborn. Well, what's that mean? <laughs> Well, one of the things, um, it turned out, you know, uh, if you are first born, you get double portion. So uh, there's another uh, passage that uh, we're going to read. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess it's a uh, Gerard term. Okay. Um, double portion, first born. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah, Elijah said unto Eli Eliza, as what I shall do for thee, there uh, before I be taken away from there, from thee. And Elijah, Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast as a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so 
unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a sherod of fire and horses of fire and parted them before Asunder. And Elijah, Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Elijah saw it. And he cried, My father, my father, the Sherod of Israel and the horsemen therefore. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and went and rent them in two pieces. All right. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, this is uh, Second Kings uh, chapter 2, verse 9 to 12. Uh, this is a story about, you know, the two, some of the two, uh, well, you know, you know, kind of greatest prophet uh, uh, of the Old Testament time, uh, Elijah and then Elisha, <laughs> Elijah and Elisha. And, and so, you know, um, uh, Elijah did uh, really great uh, things, you know, because uh, uh, he did. Uh, at Mount Carmel, that uh, he has, um, uh, you know, um, fought, you know, the uh, all this uh, uh, bail, you know, all this pocket of bail, you know, because uh, at, at that time, King, King Ahab's wife is uh, Jezebel, and Jezebel, you know, promoted the uh, the idolatry in the uh, Lord Kingdom. And uh, but after you know he, he was victorious, uh, even though the people have repent and um, you know, uh, but uh, Jezebel threatened uh, Elijah and then he ran away <laughs> back to uh, Mount Sinai, you know, hiding, afraid of the woman. And uh, so, anyway, in the conversations. Uh, the Lord told Elijah to uh, anoint the, uh, Elisha to be the next prophet. He's a replacement prophet. <laughs> so, you know, people ask, uh, well, what's the difference between Elijah and Elisha? Well, by their name, Elijah means uh, God is the Lord. When the people repented, they say, God is the Lord. You know, that's the name of Elijah. <laughs> but uh, Elijah is, God is salvation. God saved. <laughs> so, turn out, Elijah was like the old covenant. Most of his miracles uh, have to do with uh, famine and fire. <laughs> Fire him, you know, famine, you know, <laughs> you know. So uh, Elijah is uh, like uh, very judgmental. In fact, you remember, you know, when uh, Jesus was on the way to Jerusalem to uh, to to be the sacrifice, and uh, there were two uh, beloved uh, disciples, James and John, and they were passing a, a, a village of Samaria. And uh, the the Samaria found out Jesus is going to Jerusalem, and so uh, they refused to to uh, to you know serve him, you know. And uh, so James and John said, "Shall we send the fire <laughs> from heavens?" You know, and then uh, Jesus rebuked them and say, "Well, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, this is not the spirit. You know." You know, they, they were trying to be uh, like Elijah, you know, the old judgment, you know, the old covenant, you know, because um, even in gospel time before Jesus um, paid for us, uh, it's everybody is thinking like the old covenant, you know, Ten Commandments, judgments, condemnations. <laughs> but anyway, so Elijah has uh, a lot of, you know, fire, you know, fire, you know, 
the fire came down, 50 uh, soldiers gone, you know, fire came down, another 50 soldiers gone, <laughs> you know, all kind of fire, you know. But Elijah is different, you know, most of his blessing, well, most of his miracle is his blessing. You know, he, he didn't feed uh, 5,000, but he fed a uh, hundred, <laughs> smaller size. It's like a little land, um, uh, ble blessing of uh, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus did 5,000, right? 7,000, you know, but uh, Elisha did smaller scale, you know, a lot of smaller scale uh, blessing, you know. So, God, you know, the second one is, uh, so, so in the transition, you know, when Elijah uh, was about to leave and uh, go up to heaven by the chariot of fire, uh, this is what took place. And then Elijah said, "Well, what what shall what uh, ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee?" And Elijah said, "I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me." <laughs> so, so, so Elijah knew to you know how to ask. Yes, and uh, do you think he got it? And I think he got it. Uh, one of the first things he did was um, uh, when Elijah went up to heaven. Uh, uh, we didn't read this, uh, you know, the two thirteen, you know, which is not in, you know, which is uh, <laughs> not in these uh, five verses. Uh, you know, Elijah's uh, mantle, you know, his gown, his garments, fall down on him. So Elisha torn his own garment, and then he now wear the garment of the Elijah. <laughs> and then, and then he also cried, "My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof." Yeah. Well, you know, the fact that he say, "My father, my father," is a revelation. You know, because in, in the Old Testament time. They, in the Old Testament time, they, you know, they are they are so afraid of God, you know, as a as a punishment, you know, as a as a punishing God. They are so afraid, you know, they they would not have said, "My father, my father," and that's why, you know, Elijah, um, you know, in terms for the people, he is a he is a larger prophet. You know, he is he is a, a pattern of Jesus in the Old Testament time. So apparently the, the, uh, in the New Covenant, you know, we, we have double portion. We are the firstborn. We are the firstborn, we have the double portion. Well, mm -hmm. double portion of what? Well, double portion of the spirit. <laughs> everything is bigger. Everything, <laughs> everything is better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, let's check it out and see if that's true. Well, if you notice, you know, in the book of Genesis, you know, we already talk about uh, many, a, a few times already. And it's very odd. Like in, uh, for Abraham, for Abraham, Ishmael was the firstborn, right? Uh -huh. And not Isaac. Ishmael was the firstborn, but Isaac got blessed. Now for Isaac, uh, Esau, was the firstborn. Actually, they were twins, but Esau came out first. So Esau was the firstborn. But Jacob got blessed, you know, by by some scheme. But uh, <laughs> Jacob, the secondborn, got blessed. And then for Jacob, his grandson of Joseph was uh, Manasseh and Ephraim. Uh, but you know. It's also reversed. The second, uh, uh, second, second one was blessed. So, it's it's uh, it seems to uh, you know present a picture. You know, kind kind of like giving you, you know, a, a number of case, and then um, you know you're supposed to kind of you know meditate on it, and then come to some um, uh, some understanding of you know the spiritual world. Well. 
So what, what it says is, yes, uh, in the natural world, uh, firstborn is the first one to come out. But in God's world, uh, it's not necessarily the same. In other words, you know, in, in, in the natural world, you know, that you learn physics about, you learn geography, you learn uh, all this uh, man's wisdom. Uh, you know, you, 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 you uh, understand it by your brain, by your eyes, by what you heard from your teachers, from what you heard from uh, the parents. Uh, you know, those, you know, are the natural things of the world. But in the, in the spiritual world, it's not necessary to think. In other words, God, you know, do not always uh, use the uh, natural order of things. Right? So, uh, the, one of the trouble is, you know, uh, a lot of times, you know, we, we uh, just read the Bible or, you know, it was taught as if, well, okay, you know, this is kind of like a history or just like, um, you know, a matter of fact kind of things. But actually, you know, what, what he's trying to say, you know, uh, the Lord is saying to us is the natural order of things is not, in fact, uh, it, you know, it might sound weird, but, you know, in fact, uh, the spiritual things are not the same, right? <laughs> and then Jesus said that uh, many times. And Jesus said that, uh, well, um, the first will be last and the last will be first on different occasions. So, you know, this is one of the Bible truths <laughs> about the spiritual. You know, if you, 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 uh, you know, sometimes people cannot accept it. But, you know, but this is what the Bible talk about, you know, and, and so you, you have to, uh, a lot of times, you know, things that uh, do not happen the way you want it, and then you kind of question, you know, seems like it's crazy or, you know, doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't have the common sense because from the holy, holy uh, word, you know, common sense is not necessarily the truth. So, well, you know, we talk about Esau and Jacob. Now, Esau was the... Um, Firstborn, but you know uh, Jacob uh, stole uh, stole the uh, you know blessing, and so I'm going to read. Uh, uh, I'm going to have uh, who who is next. Um, uh, I can read it. Yes. Okay. Genesis. Uh, it's right from Genesis, right? Yes. Okay. Genesis 27:27. He came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said. See, the smell of my son is as a smell of a field which the Lord had blessed. Therefore, God give thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and the plenty of grain and wine. Let the people serve thee and the nations blow, bow, bow down to thee. Uh, be Lord over the brethren and let their mother's son bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that curse thee. And the blessed be that blessed day. Uh, Genesis 27 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, they dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shall they live and shall serve their brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, and thou shall break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Now, now here, here are two brothers, twin brothers. Uh -huh. And so Jacob got all the good stuff. And Esau was upset, you know, and then afterwards he wanted to kill him. And so obviously, uh, this blessing uh, is uh, uh -huh. will, you know, will business after all. Now, um, let's compare, you know, the two. Um, on the left side, on the blessing of Jacob, uh, you know, when 
uh, Isaac said that, you know, he said, therefore, you know, therefore, God give thee, uh, you know, you or heavens, the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain and wine. You know, four things. You or heavens, fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain and wine. Now, so uh, later on, when he blessed Esau, uh, he said it well, kind of similarly. You know, it said, it said, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Now, they seem to be similar, but actually it's not. Uh, because, uh, you know, on the uh, blessing on Jacob, you know, it's God. God is the, you know, uh, you know, carry out this blessing. God give thee, you know, so it's a spiritual blessing. It's, it's directly from God, you know, this is a, a blessing from God. Okay, and then, and then, you know, even though, you know, it uh, kind of mentioned similarly, and then you will notice, uh, well, you are heaven, fairness of earth, and plenty of grain and wine. Now, because this is spiritual, this is spiritual. So this uh, have, a, you know, um, way deeper meanings. You know, it's not like give you plenty of grain and wine. It's not like, oh, you know, well, it, it, it included that, you know, that uh, they, they would have enough uh, material blessing, right? You know, it, it included that. But, but it is also, you know, have deeper meaning spiritually. Okay, so uh, we, we're going to try to deal with that. But if you notice, in the case of Esau, no mention of God, no mention of God. Behold, meaning, you know, it's a physical thing. Thy dwelling, you know, there's a, where the places where they, well, Esau and his uh, descendant live. I shall, uh, shall be the fatness of the earth. Now, what's that mean? Fatness of the earth. Now, this is not spiritual. This sign is fatness of the earth. It's not spiritual. Unlike the other sign. So, physically, and, oh, by the way, Esau, you know, of course, um, uh, directly speaking, Esau, his uh, descendant of the country or nation of Edom. Do you know Edom? Yeah. And then, and so Esau is kind of like, um, well, most of his, uh, uh, you know, uh, traceable descendant is kind of like uh, the Arabs. Right? You know, kind of like the Arabs. And then, you know, so there's, you know, physical, that's why they have all this oil. Thy dwelling, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So, you know, for some reason, you know, their, their lands, uh, most of the Arab, uh, you know, lands, you know, uh, in the Middle East, along the Mediterranean, uh, many of them have oil, petroleum, physical. So they do, they do, you know, this in a way is kind of like a blessing. But actually, I don't think Esau just represent the Arabs. Actually, you know, to me, these two represent, Jacob represent, of course, uh, the children of Israel. Because uh, his other name is called Israel. Uh, you know, uh, and Jacob was... Uh, kind of the progenitor of the uh, nation of Israel. But Esau is actually represent the world. Uh, the reason why he represent the world is uh, Esau is a, uh, you know, name have a connotation of red color man. Uh, red color man, you know, because uh, his hair is red and reddish. <laughs> And then he liked the red lintel, the, 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 the meal, you know, red lintel. 
And then not only that, his uh, nation uh, is, uh, is a nation of Edom. Edom is uh, the same wood word as Adam. Adam is, uh, you know, it's like the reason why he's called Adam is like a, he's a red blood man, red blood man. So in, in other words, Esau is a representation of all the Gentiles. You understand what I'm saying spiritually? Esau represent, you know, because he, uh, at that time, he did not care for anything spiritual. He's uh, more concerned about uh, hunting, making it in the world, you know, going out in the field and shooting arrows and, you know, having a good time. Uh, so, you know, he didn't really care for the spiritual. And then, so he ended up lost out to Jacob because Jacob really craved for it. You know, he, he used tricks uh, to get it, but, you know, he, he really won, you know, did that kind of things, you know, from God, you know, so Jacob got the, you know, uh, at that time, got the, got the, all the blessings and Esau, the Gentiles, you know, because, um, you know, they, you know, they, uh, they didn't care for, uh, for the, this and that, you know, of having any things. So he didn't get it at that time. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? So Esau is a uh, representative of Gentiles. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, if you look at, uh, you know, the uh, uh, places uh, where they have the nation of Edom, I, I'll show it to you. Even the rocks are red, reddish color. <laughs> You've been there, right, guys? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at that. Um, there are uh, Edom's uh, original uh, kind of like capital is called Petra. You you know this place, right? You've seen it. You know when you watch the uh, Raiders of Lost Art, you know. Hmm. It's all wet, reddish color. Jordan is in Jordan. Now it is in Jordan. Yes, oh. but but you know that was uh, the, the where the Edomite was, and then you look at it. You know it's all reddish because I, I think they have some iron in the rock. Yeah. Yes, feldspar and, and 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 reddish. You know, so uh, they rust easily and all that. So <laughs> so, so so this is the the nation of the ancient nation of Edomite. You know the descendant of uh, Esau. <laughs> so, mm. but you know, in the in the picture of the two uh, two um, brothers, uh, the picture is actually um, Esau is the uh, you know talking about the the world, the Gentile world. That's why, you know, if you think about that, you know, in, uh, in the previous uh, verses, you know, uh, it says, um, I said, love Esau. But he loved the games, you know, so because he loved the games, you know, the, the game, the meat, you know, and, and uh, Rebecca loved Jacob. You remember that? And, and actually, you know, if I said represent the law, you know, you know that the law actually loved the world. Yes, the world. Yeah, actually, Jesus said that to uh, uh, Nicodemus. He said, um, for God so loved the world. So, so you know, the law actually is not just like loving one nation only. You know, in the Old Testament time, you know, for a long time, the children of Israel fought God is only God for Israel, not for anybody else, you know, because they all worship the idols. So, so, but it's not true. You think about that, you know, even now, you know, the nation of, um, well, all the, all the people of Israel is uh, like 15 million people, you know, but the law, what love the, the people of the world, you know, want to save all of them. You're talking about what, 6 billion, right? Seven billions. 
you know, it's not just for the 15 million, you know, but, you know, at that, at that time, you know, God present himself to be the God of Israel so that all the other nations would, um, would turn around and see it. And they say, oh, this is the real God. This is the only true God. <laughs> and then, so, you know, if you look at the blessing of Esau, it's very strange. Uh, you know, in the uh, uh, verse 40, and he said, by thy sword shall thou live. Yeah, well, this is how the world live. You know, all these uh, world people, you know, they <laughs> they fight each other, you know, they try to conquer each other, right? Okay, mm -hmm. that that's how how and 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 shall serve thy brother. Well, you know, you know what I'm saying. And then it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion. When when did Esau will in time have the dominion? Well, because in time when Jesus came. The kingdom of the heaven, kingdom of heaven comes, then thou shalt break his yoke. His yoke is what? The ruler of the world. Because why right now the world is under the yoke of the ruler of the world, the devil. And 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 so this is actually talking about Esau and talking about the world. And you know, so the promise is, yeah. You know, it's going to turn around. It's going to turn around, and the order, you know, many of the Gentiles become the Gentile church. Now it's the church, it's the kingdom of heaven, and the new covenant for us. So going back, <laughs> going back to Jacob. <laughs> so what's what's that mean? You know, the plenty of grain and wine. Now this is not the commercial grain and wine. You know, because. You know, if the blessing is just for the physical, you know, oh, you can have, have more grain and wine. First of all, historically, uh, the the children of Israel do not necessarily have a lot more grain and wine, okay? I mean, you know, this is very common stuff, grain and wine, right? But so what does that mean? Well, you know, they are, they are blessing. They are blessing in um, physically, uh, blessing of, you know, for the, for the, you know, uh, life. And, uh, but, and uh, you know they have some in some way you know have um, um, some domination um, over you know the other nations and things like that. Um, and uh, so they are, they are you know they are a special race you know no question about that you know because uh, after all there's a blessing of you know Jacob by Isaac. Now, but this uh, uh, twenty eight. Uh, you know, is, um, you know, talking about, you know, plenty of grain and wine. And then, you know, this is also very strange, you know, and then we talked about that before. And uh, who can read this uh, for us? Uh, this is the Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 11, 13, 15. And it shall come to pass, if ye shall hearken diligently unto my commandments, which I command you this day to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, that I will give you the rain of your land in, this, in his due season. The first rain and the later rain that thou may gather in thy corn and thy wine and thy oil and I will send grass in thy fields for thy cattle that thou may eat and be full. Okay, thank you. So well, this, uh, you know, obviously this is, uh, uh, you know, in part, you know, the kind of like the summary of the uh, Ten Commandments, the, the, the law, L-A-W, you know, because, uh, you know, all the uh, you know requirement is they have to <laughs> to uh, fulfill all the commandments, right? This this is basically the the summary of the you know the the commandments, mm -hmm. um, so to speak. But with that, 
uh, if they have fulfilled the commandment, if they have, uh, no one could, but if they have, then the promise is uh, then you will have, you know, the rain for this, you know, in time, in the uh, good time, and then the first rain uh, for the uh, germination and the latter rain uh, for, the, uh, for the harvest, that they may, you know, have grain, wine, and oil. Now, these uh, verses are actually, uh, they put it into the front end. You know, uh, we, we have uh, seen it a few times already, but, you know, I'm not afraid to share that again um, on uh, what they have. So these, those are the leather box that they have used, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, more than, uh, uh, you know, 2,000, 3,000 years, I don't know how long, but uh, they, 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 they put this on for the morning prayer, for the uh, Sabbath, and uh, for the time, you know, they uh, like go to funeral or whatever, you know, whenever they, Thing, uh, they, they are doing the religious things. They, they put this on, on their persons. And and what's in there? Well, what's in there is some of those verses that uh, you just read. Something about the, you, you're going to, you know, if you uh, obey all the commandments, then you're going to get uh, the, the grain and the wine and the oil. <laughs> now, of course, uh, we already know, you know, hey, you know, nobody fulfilled the Ten Commandments. You know, yeah, no, no matter what they say, you know, they, you know, it's just nobody could. It's impossible. But anyway, so uh, they, they, um, you know, do this uh, prayer books and, um, you know, they, and they would uh, wear all this on their, you know, arms and on the, uh, on the head. And they also put, would put it in uh, the masusa. Masusa. Yeah, you know, you can buy it, you can order it. You know, those <laughs> are Matusa, you remember, they have the, they have the word shin on, on you know, sometimes uh, they actually show everything. But, you know, this is the thing that they touch. This is the thing they touch uh, on the way in and on the way out. And, and, and then they would uh, touch it and then kiss it you know, uh, on their fingers, on their hand. And then as if, you know, they're saying, hey, you know, I, I, you know, I did all the religious things that's required. But what was in there in the masusa is, um, you know, a piece of paper, like, you know, well, it's not fortune cookies, but, you know, basically it's a, a piece of paper, hand, hand written, um, you know, of the, those uh, passages those verses. And, and so, you know, they go in, they go out, they go in, they go out, and then um, that's, um, you know, to show uh, all the other people that, um, you know, they are very religious um, uh, people. Uh, they, they try to obey, you know, what the rabbi teach them about, <laughs> of, about the Old Testament. But you know, it's not in the Old Testament, of course. You know, it's 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 not the meaning of that. But so you know, if you think about that, you know, well, what's that means for us? Well, I I be honest with you, uh, I I only learned that um, not many years ago. You know, I learned it only uh, last few years, and then I found out the grain and the wine is our um, holy communion. Because uh, all these three things, grain, is the bread, the wine, you know, represent uh, uh, his blood. And then also the oil. You know, when Jesus uh, was uh, at Gethsemane, 
the day before his crucifixion, uh, he was in the place called Gethsemane. And uh, in the uh, Hebrews, that means the oil press. You know, he was praying very hard because, you know, he's under a lot of stress, you know, not just um, uh, to, to know that, you know, he's anticipating uh, he's going to die for all of us suffering, painful, uh, all kinds of sufferings, all kinds of curse, all, all kinds of things to come. And, you know, when he was praying to the Father, um, he was really uh, mentally tortured. It's like the oil of the olive oil that was crushed, crushed, crushed into the oil, you know, because Gethsemane means the oil press. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was the place where, you know, the grain, the wine, and the oil all done, you know, by Jerusalem uh, outside the city gate and where he has suffered for our all our sins, all our curses, all our illness, all our pains. He 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 did it all for for our personal salvations. He did it. You know, he 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 does not have to uh, if he just want to save us from sin and give us um, you know, he, he did not have to go through all this suffering. But the grain, the wine, and the oil is for our blessings because all the Old Testament curse, you know, you 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 have to read it to understand, you know, those are for real. And that's why those people that uh, they don't believe in the law or they don't have the right understanding that the law want to bless us with that, then uh, they would still have to go through all these curse of the Old Testament, Old Covenant curse. And, you know, that's why a lot of churches right now still suffer. Because, you know, they insist on obeying Ten Commandments as if uh, the law did not pay. The law already paid the tax. He, he suffered so much, you know, he carried the sin of the whole world, all the past, present, and future. You know, he already did it, you know, because he's son of God, yes. You know, he's, he is so much worthy uh, as our lamb. He did it all. He paid for it. And then, you know, the trouble is, you know, all these uh, churches, you know, they, they refuse to accept what was actually stated in the Bible. The grain, the wine, and the oil is for our blessing to take away all our curses, to take away, you know, as you believe it, you know, take away all our sickness. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you don't go to doctor, you know, I'm, I'm saying you, you do all the means to get healed and God uh, get uh, treated. Because that is the, 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 the will of God, you know, to, to want us to, he doesn't want us to be sick like the world. The world people, you know, they have no protection from the, uh, the devil. But, you know, he is our Lord. You know, he, he, he has prepared all this as our banquet, our, our table. And the, the thing is, you know, you have to believe it and then you accept it. Understand from God's word, you know, what it means. And then you can ask the Lord, Lord Jesus, you know, this is what you have done. And thank you, Father, that the Lord have done for me. And I, I want it. And that's why, you know, if you look at that, you know, this passage of Deuteronomy chapter 11, and sometimes they use Deuteronomy chapter 6, but it's basically saying the same thing. In other words, uh, yes, the Ten Commandments we require for the Old Covenant people. But because, you know, Jesus already paid. So what is left for us is, you know, by receiving the rain, which is the preaching of, 
you know, God's word, you know, preaching like the river of living water. You know, it's God's word. It's the, <laughs> you know, it's, it's <laughs> um, you know, um, some, you know, some uh, pastor was, was saying, you know, um, you know, I think uh, Joseph Prince uh, saying one time, you know, the rain is like, you know, if you get too close to the front, and then um, you know when he when someone is preaching really hard, you know, it's the rain that rain on you. <laughs> but anyway, it's the rain is the God's word, you know, raining on you, and then and you know, and and as a result, you know, as you're believing, that you, know, you receive the grain, the wine, and the oil. And then it's for your blessings. Now, of course, uh, you know, um, you know the uh, you know people that are still practice the old covenant or they don't understand it. You know, they cannot receive it. They they will never talk to the Lord because, um, um, you know, they they don't either. They don't know Jesus, or they say they believe in Jesus, but they still practice the old commandments. So uh, we, we, you know, uh, in different times, uh, we already uh, talk about, you know, that's why we, the new covenant people, we know our God is our father. We are sons of God, sons and daughters of God. And, you know, with that, you know, then, then uh, you can look up to the Lord, you know, you're not afraid, and then you can ask the Lord for the blessings. Um, you know, that, that is why um, the new covenant is so much of a double portion. That's why we are called the firstborn. We are firstborn because Jesus lead our way. You know, he is the only begotten son. So he lead our way. And then so we are all firstborn. <laughs> firstborn in uh, getting the blessing. Now there's another passage about um, a double uh, portion. Anybody want to read this? The Deuteronomy 21. Okay, I read. Yes. Can I make it bigger? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. All right. If a man have two wives, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated. And if the firstborn son be hers and was hated, then it shall be when he makes his son to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he hath. For he is the beginning of his strength, the right of the firstborn of firstborn is his. Mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you know, so, uh, you know, of course, you know, the, for the old covenant people, you know, they thought, oh, that means I can have two wives. <laughs> 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 but, well, you know, um, of course, uh, you know, we already uh, follow Jesus. So, uh, you know, we, we, don't, we, we don't follow all this uh, obsolete law, right? But, you know, in the, in, the, in the way, you know, it was prescribed, basically, it's saying, you know, even if you you hate uh, that particular wife, but, but if the if uh, her son is the firstborn, then he should be uh, given the double portion. Ah, you know, so you know, <laughs> that's very natural. That's a natural thing to do, right? Oh, well, I mean, natural thing in terms of the man's righteousness, right? Basically, that means you know you're not supposed to. Uh, uh, change rule or something like that, you know, and, and then they make it even worse, you know, about the family relationship. But my point is the firstborn get double portion. 
that's really what what is all about in other words you you if you understand you know that you are belong to the church of the firstborn and then you know that the lord love you and then the lord would bless you or that he had or that he had you get double portion okay that, that's that's really the main part of it or this uh you you can get from that you know on the on this okay how do i, I always have that problem uh, oh uh, Okay, whoops. <laughs> I always overdo it, sorry. Okay. Okay, all right. Continuing. <laughs> now, so the double, the firstborn, the word double, uh, 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 you know, the firstborn. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, the word uh, firstborn is baka, baka. It's a free, free letter. Bad, calf, resh. Bad, calf, resh. Okay, bad, baka, right? Baka. Like beta, right? <laughs> bad, bad, calf, resh. You know, from right to left, right? And uh, so this, uh, you know, like, you know, the firstborn or first whatever and um so well what's the big deal about that and it turned out bad coverage because uh, all the letters in hebrew you know alphabets have a uh, numbers in other words you know uh, because uh, in the old testament time in they don't have uh, arabic numbers so you know they so each letter also represents a number so if if you have bad car rash, right? Bad car rash, and then it turned out the bad is two. See that two bad. Uh -huh. Car is turn out is twenty. So now it's twenty two. And then rash is two hundred. Oh. So what's that mean? That means uh, <laughs> the first one, even in the uh, in the Hebrew, in 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 terms of the numerical values, is two hundred and twenty-two. <laughs> so that's why you get double portion. <laughs> when when you are first one, now in the natural you might not be a first one, right? You you know in the natural you you might be well you know. Um, Number three sons or whatever, right? But hey, you know, we're talking about the spiritual. So when you get the uh, blessing to, and, and then you are in the church of firstborn, well, you know, what the Bible is saying, yeah, you, you are, you are in every things, you are blessed double. You understand what I'm saying? Two, 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 <laughs> 222. <laughs> okay. So, so, uh, you know, there, you know, there's a lot of stuff, you know, that uh, the Lord trying to uh, instill in us, you know, that, hey, you know, you are, you are, you are, you are loved by the Lord, you know, because, because why? Because Jesus already paid for everything, you know, you, you know, you, sh you know, you shouldn't be like, you know, like a, a homeless guy or something, you know, not knowing that uh, the law, the father, you are the son of the father, you know. Okay, there's another uh, uh, passage. It's a number, chapter three. Anybody want to? Okay. Yes. And the Lord spake 
spake unto Moses, saying, And I behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that opened the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine, because all the firstborn are mine. For on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hollowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel, both men and beast. Mine shall they be. I am the Lord. Okay. Okay. Well, um, you know, I didn't put in the whole uh, chapter. Um, you know, it might take a little long, but basically, what he's saying is uh, in the book of Numbers, chapter three. Um, he, he is saying, well, uh, all the firstborn are mine. Okay. Well, that's nice. And, but what happened was he has smoked all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. You remember that, but not, not the children of Israel. None of them died. And, so you know he he's saying well you know I because of that I I um, no, all those uh, firstborn are mine under the law the firstborn is mine because why well I I I, I spare them uh, in Egypt now wait a second how does it work now in in the uh, in the Exodus uh, on the tenth plague. Uh, the reason why uh, they were skip over that they are they were passed over is because they have the lamb. Remember that they, they every house have their own uh, one year old lamb. That's uh, no blemish. Will present Lord Jesus. And every every house has their own lamb, and and so you know they use the blood and then put it on the doorpost, and so they will pass over. But now in the book of Numbers chapter three, you know there's a there's a there's a change. What what's the change? They say all the firstborn are mine because I, I didn't kill them. Why? Well, because uh, they they choose to uh, live under the law. In Exodus 20, they choose to under, live under the law. They ask for it. In other words, actually, you know, the reason why they were saved from uh, Egypt is because of the promise of Abraham. It was a promise of grace. And that's why we are seed of Abraham. We are descendants of Abraham. Because uh, we rely on the grace, and the grace is what the Lord Jesus. But it's the seed of Abraham is Lord Jesus, and then when we are in Christ, then we have received that grace, that promise. But for the children of Israel, they chose the other way. They say, whatever the Lord tell us, we can comply. We have our own righteousness. We are righteous enough to fulfill all the requirements of God <laughs> in chapter 19 of Exodus. And so, you know, uh, as a result, you know, in Numbers 3, you know, the law was saying, well, you, you guys want that? Well, tell, uh, he, he told Moses. Um, then all the firstborn are mine. And so as a result, I'm requiring all these Levites. And the one Levi for one firstborn, one Levi for one firstborn. And if it's not enough, they have to pay a price. So there's a great price required for every person. In terms of where uh, monetary value, but also it's a one for one. So in other words, the firstborn the reason why they got away with it is 
the law said, I'm now taking the Levites. The Levites are, are to be their uh, uh, kind of like an uh, offering. They have to provide for the temp, you know, the religious service. They have to provide that, you know, serving the law. They are like, like a, uh, a slave under the religion. Well, I, I, <laughs> I paraphrase it, but, but basically, you know, that's what chapter three is saying, you know, one for one. You understand? In other words, all these Levi, you know, for a certain age, they, they are to, they are taken in to serve the temple, to serve the law in, in under the 10 commandments, under the LAW. <laughs> it's like a slave. I'm sorry to say. Why? Because uh, so did all the other firstborn uh, are free. It's one for one. So it's, uh, you know, it's under the LAW, it means business. You know, it's not like, you know, they actually got away with it. You understand? <laughs> but, okay, this is only for the old covenant people. It's not for us. Because Jesus did it all. Jesus did it all. That's why we we belong. Yes, we are the first one. Is mine, you know. We we are the first one church. So you know this is this is true. But Jesus did all the requirement for, for the for the priests, for the high priests, for the Levites. Is it's still one for one because you know he died for each one of us. <laughs> because he's a great God, you know, he's a good God, you know, so he died, you know, for my sin and for your sin. It's one for one. And then, you know, he, but he, you know, he wants us to be good friends with him. You know, that's why we, we're not uh, relying on uh, a denomination, we're not relying on the religion, we're not relying on the old covenant. We, we have the gospel of grace. You know, that, that is really why, you know, he wants us to open the, our heart door to him. Not relying on, you know, some leadership or some, um, some of those traditions of churches and things like that. It's none of that. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I already shown you, uh, but uh, we can read through it and then uh, you can kind of think about that and then solve it. Um, and Horn, can, uh, is it your turn? Sure. Yeah, number uh, eight to 10. And those shall bring the Levites before the Lord, and the children of Israel shall put their hands upon the Levites. And Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord for an offering of the children of Israel, that they may uh, exec uh, execute the service of the Lord. And the Levites shall lay their hands upon the heads of the bullocks, and those shall offer the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering unto the Lord to make a torment for the Levites. And those shall set the Levites before Aaron, and before his sons, and offer them for an offering unto the Lord. Thus shall do separate the Levites from among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. Thank you, thank you. So you notice, you know, the way, uh, how that work is, you know, the children of Israel will put their hands upon the Levites, and then, and then, you know, then, then the Aaron would uh, offer that before the Lord for an offering of the children of Israel. So in other words, you know, it was like, later on, on the next words, you, you, you see the same pattern. The Levi laid their hands upon the head of the bullocks. <laughs> so the pattern is, uh, you know, well, you know what I'm saying. So that's why, you know, in, uh, uh, later verses that you will see, and offer them for an offering unto the Lord. Yeah, you know, they, they, 
uh, the Levi have to do the uh, temple service. Uh, because why? Because uh, they are the replacement of the first one. Otherwise, all the first one have to die. <laughs> because uh, they are under the Ten Commandments now. <laughs> you see? <laughs> so, so, you know, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's like, you know, if the Lord will offer you grace in the new covenant, but the people want to go back, go back the other way. And, and well, you know, what happened? Well, what happened is that's, this is also number eight, chapter 10, I mean, chapter eight. And this is, uh, this is, uh, you know, end up, you know, talking about this. That, you know, they are responsible to, um, making sure there's no plaque on, on the children of Israel. But it also means if they are, they are plaque, they are, you know, all these uh, mass uh, pandemics on the children of Israel, on the people of, of God, you know, that means um, the Levites um, did not do a good job. You know, that's really what it is. But in the last days, you know, this is what happened. Um, okay, who, whose turn is it again <laughs> in the last day? I can read. Okay, thank you. Uh, you want the larger one, right? Yeah, when you might. <laughs> <laughs> I always got problems uh, switching back, but okay, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> okay. All right, so I can see it. Uh, okay, Revelation 3. 14, and unto the angel of the church of the Leo, Leo, Leocian right, the thing said, uh, too small for me. The amen. The thing said, the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning and the creation of God. I know thy word that thou art neither cold nor hot i would through i was through i would throw were cold or hot so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot i will spill thee out of my mouth out of my mouth because thou said i am rich and increased with goods and have needs of nothing and know not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy me gold try in the fire, that thou may be rich and white, white what? White raiment. Raiment, that thou may be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness to not appear and annoy thy eye with what I saw that thou may see as many as I love I rebuke and chest chasten be zealous be zealous therefore and repent behold I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and opens the door I will come in to him and will sup with him and he, and he with me. To him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Even as I also, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Thank you. Sorry, a little small for me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, you know, I try to make a figure next time. Okay. But, but basically, you know, you're really familiar with this uh, passage. Yeah, it's really, really uh, you know, you know, I, I, I kind of see it as a two, two part. You know, one is addressing directly to the angel, the leadership, the leaders, the religious leaders of the church of the last day. And, and, you know, apparently, you know, well, you know, the, uh, the last day church, you know, they, uh, the leaders are not doing very good you know, because uh, they kind of 
lead the way, but you know, they are focusing on their own work. And the Lord is all, all, already offering them everything. But you know, they, they have to they have their own goods. They have to, you know, kind of look for themselves to be self-sufficient. You know, the Lord is not going for our goal, you know, because uh, you know, how can you buy go from the Lord. You know, it's it's just that, you know, the, the people are so poor themselves. <laughs> so so they don't want uh, the garment from the uh, Lord Jesus. They don't want a uh, uh, gold from the Lord Jesus. They don't want um, the eye salve, you know, the eye uh, medicine, uh, the, the ointment from Jesus. You know, it's it's really that's what it is. You know, because uh, the Lord is already give us everything. You know, and that's why you know if you see, uh, how do you overcome? Actually, how how do you overcome? Well, you know, you just open the Lord uh, door to Jesus. You know that you are with Him, and He is in you, and you are with in Him. Um, you He wants to be your personal friend. You know, he, he didn't, he, you know, he's not planning to be uh, like, well, you know, if you follow the, uh, a certain church, a certain, um, you know, um, people, you know, and, and, and um, you know, he, he wants to be, he is your friend. He's your shepherd. He's your Lord. You know, and, and that's why, you know, all this Bible, you know, that we read, and um, you know you 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 understand you know that's why we we have to uh, we don't want anything in between us you know if you are you know you have a you know uh, your fiance or girlfriend or whatever you don't want anyone between you the relay the, the everything is between you and the Lord and then you know when you look unto Him and then you can love other people. You can do all kind of things by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, so really, that's really all it's all about. Well. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess. Uh, uh, we uh, basically have uh, talked about, you know, the uh, the blessing, uh, but you know, uh, going back to the uh, well, um, maybe we can uh, take a quick look at. Um, well, yeah, as I said, you know, uh, a lot of religious countries uh, is uh, suffering much, and uh, it, it's um, it's really on, of course, and then. Um, this is the uh, John Hawkins. So uh, it's, um, and then this is Singapore here. Uh, this is based on the case fatality, fatality ratio. In other words, oh, uh, they, they, they have infection, of course, you know, all the countries have infection. But, you know, basically they are the lowest uh, based on the case fatality ratio. In other words, um, if uh, it's the number of death divided by the number of confirmed cases. Okay. <laughs> mm. So, um, well, you know, um, in the end, you know, that, um, you know, it's not really um, uh, doing, every, well, you try your best. You know, everyone should try their best, you know, because the law is not in uh, into uh, punishing us or anything, you know. So, you know, you need to go to doctor, you go to doctor, you need to do whatever you need, you know, um, you, you do. But, uh, you know, the first thing first is um, you, you talk to the Lord every day. You know, I, I, like I said, you know, uh, it's not like, you know, my family don't, don't have challenges. You know, we all have different challenges or, you know, things that, uh, you know, we deal with, but, you know, uh, no, no matter what, you know, I, that's why I, um, I still have a communion with my wife every day, you know, because uh, I use that as a means to look to the Lord. Uh, 
But you know, you do whatever you can, you know, because the Lord really loves you. We are all the church of the first one. <laughs> you know, so the Lord really loves uh, you know every one of us, right? Okay. Yeah, okay, let's close in prayer. You know, we're a little bit early, but hey, you know. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, let, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I'm just thankful that um, you already uh, plan all this. You love us so much. And um, so in spite of, you know, and all these uh, times, um, it, you, it doesn't matter because you are, you're suffering, you're, you're pain, you know, you are already receive all these uh, uh, curses, suffering, even disease for us. And uh, by your word, that's your promise. So uh, we just look unto you. And then, uh, Lord, I'm praying for blessing for everyone uh, in the meeting. Bless uh, everyone and uh, also their house, their family, their loved ones. And uh, bless them and protect them and uh, heal them, uh, give them peace, give them provisions, give them um, wisdom to deal with every day. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm just thankful because uh, we know that uh, we are the church of the double, uh, firstborn and uh, we get double portions as we promised. And uh, so uh, we just uh, leave it unto you and how you deal with it every day for everyone. And I'm also praying for those uh, people that uh, watch uh, the video or audio later on. And I'm also praying for them that uh, then their house are blessed with uh, healing, protections, provisions, and uh, shalom peace. And um, Lord, you know, um, yeah, we are mindful. We remember all the other brothers and sisters. A lot of them, you know, they don't um, have that kind of faith. You know, they don't want to believe you know, the um, God's word. Have this power. Uh, they don't. They don't. They don't. They just cannot accept it because of the religious way they think, but uh, we're praying for them, you know, we're praying for uh, this country, we're praying for the uh, other countries in Asia, we're thankful that uh, um, every day, you know, by, because of your promise, because of your word, that uh, we have peace, and then we have protection and provision and blessings. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very Amen. much. Hey, uh, in guys. the Bible, I think the next few verses they mention the Abel, right? Uh, has anything to do with the Cain and Abel? I remember the first read of the Bible. Uh, next yes, yes, the Cain yeah. and Abel. Yes. Yeah, the Abel and then the Cain and Abel. I think that's uh, probably the, the God actually uh, likes the, the Abel, right? Yeah, yes. grammar, right? In yeah. the oh, Hebrew, yes. Um, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, in the Hebrew. I remember the next few verses they mentioned the right, Abel, right? Right. The, yeah. yeah, the next verse is uh, he's saying, uh, Jesus, uh, uh, his, yeah. uh, his blood is so much more powerful. Okay. Uh, because uh, in the in the case of Abel, you know, uh -huh. his blood was crying out for vengeance. Okay, okay. okay. You know, Cain yeah. killed Abel. Yeah, and I know. So, you know, uh, and then the Abel, Abel's blood is crying from the ground and say, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, I, 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 I've been uh, murdered. You know, and it's not fair. You know, so it's a, it's a condemnation. Okay, I see. But you know, in the case of Jesus, you know, he, he, uh -huh. uh, he really, you know, he is so much more powerful because he's God Himself. You know, and then he uh, give us all this blessing on the church. Yeah. And everyone yeah. that come close. Sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I saw the name there, right? Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay. Good. Hey. God bless Thank you. you. See you. Thank you. See you. Thank see you. you. Yeah, see okay. you. Yeah. Bye bye.